I'm trying to, I want to get all the important stuff. Uh, it is when I climbed Mount Katana with Walker. The only time I've ever climbed anything in my whole life. This is the story of the first and last time I went hiking. I was 16 years old and I went with my friend Walker who was 17 years old and we stayed in this lean-to and decided to climb Mount Katahdin which Walker had done every year for I guess his entire life and I had never I'd never gone hiking before and I got sick before we left it was like the end of the, like last weekend of the summer and like a week before I got sick it was like a head cold or something it wasn't anything serious but I just stayed sick for like the whole time until the trip and so we stayed in this little lean-to and I carved our names in the thing and it was cute and we kind of hung out uh, we made a little campfire and then this like 30 ish year old couple came over and they were kind of like chatting with us a little bit dude was super cool he was talking to walker about his jeep and all that kind of thing and the woman was really nice but she was like drinking like four locos and you're not supposed to have any alcohol in the park like whatever she's just having a having a drink around the fire but she just has like more and more drinks and starts getting like belligerent to the point where like some nice park ranger had to say like hey you're not supposed to have that and you need to shut your mouth so they had to like go to sleep i guess i felt bad for her husband because he was like it's like honey like like be nice to the nice park ranger anyway whatever we climbed the mountain the next day and it's like it's pretty stressful we went up a ball so it's like the rock slide which is cool because you you're in the woods for a long time but then eventually you come out onto the rock slide and you can just see everything you have a great view the rest of the way up you go up and then you get to like a plateau and then it's kind of easy sailing uh, the rest of the way to the peak and so we're climbing up we meet like these dudes who are like older than us but like not that much older they're in their late 20s and they're just like machines they are hiking one of them has like sticks like but like metal sticks uh, and they they just got done hiking whatever like 100 mountains or something and so they pass us and they're they're gone and eventually I'm completely exhausted I can't go anymore and I have to say to Walker you should go without me because I don't want you to not see the peak for you know for me and he says all right man well you know keep trying and then he's gone I sit down I'm defeated and I have my backpack with some water and I have my cell phone with me and I have like one bar of service and I'm like well I haven't had service all weekend I'll just give my mom a call and it's kind of neat I'm sitting on the mountain I'll you know say hi and I call her and I say yeah you know I I've been defeated Walker left and now it's just me and I'm eating my sandwich and she says oh yeah oh, that you know it's hard I remember back when your grandfather climbed the mountain a few years ago with the church group I said mom what she said oh yeah he went up with a whole whole church group and yeah they had a great time they went up the hardest trail I guess ever or something I was like my grandfather is like in his 60s not in perfect you know perfectly amazing health it's like mom I gotta go right now and I hung up the phone and I just walked back down the mountain <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I made it to the top of the mountain. Walker was there. There's like a whole bunch of people when you get to the top. You don't see anyone except for like a, a few dudes who climb 100 mountains. And then you get to the top and they're just like people hanging out, like watching TV, doing whatever. And there's like this group, there's like an Amish family up there that lost their grandfather. They're like scurrying around the top of the mountain. Like where did Jebediah go? And r really worried. And they found him eventually and it was... They're all happy again. And uh, we kind of hung out for a few minutes and then we decided to leave. We met one one more like interesting group of people before we descended. We walked across the whole plateau and we were like kind of approaching the trailhead. There's this young boy, maybe he's 12 or something, with a very obvious learning disability. And he's just kind of like walking around holding something and he's like not really on the trail. He's kind of like over to the side. And so we go up to him and we say, hey buddy, how's it going? Where, you know, you, you got folks coming up the mountain or whatever. And he's like, yeah, my parents are coming. They're they're climbing the mountain. And uh, and he's, we realize he's like eating yogurt covered raisins. He's got a box of yogurt covered raisins. And he's just saying to himself, and he's walking away from the trailhead just to a part of the mountain that's not like, it's not on, it's not marked. Eventually his brother pops up over the side of the mountain He's maybe 14 or something, backwards hat, skate shoes, and he's on his phone and just takes off across the plateau, completely ignoring all the trail markings, like had no regard for his brother. Anyway, we kind of like hung out with him for a minute, like not near the trailhead. And finally his parents do come up over the trail. We make our descent and uh, that was it.